was not seen for five days. A Cleveland EMT telling police she ran for her life to escape kidnappers. That was back in May. Now, nearly seven months later, questions still remain in Lachelle Jordan's disappearance. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Duffy. And I'm Nicole Versansky. And for Tiffany Tucker tonight, the case gaining national attention last spring. Police using dozens of resources to try and find the 30 year old. But all of that ended up never even helping in the end because the mother of two stumbled into a store on her own. And as you see here, it was all caught on surveillance footage. Tonight, 19 investigates speaking with the mayor of Cleveland and the police chief regarding their investigation that seemed to be steamrolling to a conclusion before it took another turn. It was stunning video. Lachelle Jordan, who had been missing for five days, stumbling down Euclid Avenue into a convenience store, her shirt torn, looking as if it had been burned. She says someone tried to kill her. The backstory to this moment is both dramatic and still a mystery. Jordan is a city employee, an EMT, who is on the job as we speak. Jordan told police she had been abducted and her captors had tried to burn her alive. But nearly seven months later, there appear to be no concrete answers, no arrests. The last we heard, investigators had uncovered what they called inconsistent evidence about her abduction. Was she abducted? What do we know right now? Brian, I, I don't want to get into too much of the particulars because our investigators are still um, looking into the, the matter. There were some inconsistencies. Yes, that's, that's, that's accurate. And those inconsistencies in Jordan's story have led to some uncomfortable questions for police and the mayor's office. Here's why. Lachelle Jordan's sister is Aquila Jordan, the city prosecutor. That's not leaking into this investigation, is it? No, no, it's not. Uh, we've been very focused on being transparent and letting the police department do its due diligence to make sure we get all the facts that come to the right conclusions as it relates to this case. But getting to that conclusion has proved to this point beyond difficult. And there have been more twists and turns to this investigation to the point that it could be the plot of a bestseller. At the time she went missing, Jordan was set to testify in a rape case involving 65-year-old Michael Stennett. Police arrested him two days after Jordan went missing for violating a protection order and a stalking charge. But city prosecutors ultimately dropped those charges and the rape case was later dismissed. And police have said they have no information connecting Stennett to Jordan's disappearance. The chief admits there is frustration, but in his words, the department is still working down the investigative path. To make sure if there is an individual out there that kidnapped her, assaulted her, that we find that particular person and hold that person accountable and so forth. So yeah, it becomes frustrating. However, still open, we're still investigating it, and hopefully we can come to some type of conclusion relatively soon. Cuyahoga County Crime Stoppers is offering a $2,500 reward for any information that leads to an arrest in this case. Tipsters can remain anonymous.